So we've talked about measuring voltage and resistance, so let's talk for just a minute about measuring amps. Now for the irrigation technician, you may not find yourself needing to measure amps very often, if at all, on a normal system. The only times that I've ever needed to was just checking the operation of a pump, and it's necessary to do an amp draw or a measurement of the amps that a pump is pulling if you're having problems with that pump staying on, kicking off, kicking the breaker, or so forth. You may have a, a high draw situation there that's pulling too much amps, or maybe there's a short inside of the pump itself that causes the amperage to go up and flip a breaker or something like that. Many multimeters don't necessarily measure both AC and DC amps. You just have to check for your particular meter and always keep the instruction manual close by on how properly to do that. Now, if you're going to try to measure the amps of a normal circuit, you're going to have to put your meter in series in the circuit to read those amps. The warning with that is, is just make sure that you turn the electricity off before you start disconnecting things and touching hot wires and so forth. The exception to that is in the case of clamp multimeters. Now these clamps were made to clamp around wires and be able to measure the amps that's flowing through the wires, but what you have to do is you have to place this clamp around only one of the wires. For instance, if you was measuring the amps on a normal extension cord, here in the U.S. our extension cords would have three wires in them, a black, a white, and a green. The green is the ground, so we wouldn't be able to pull any amperage reading off of that, but on the black wire or the white, we can get a good amperage reading. Now with our clamp multimeter, we need to remember to only put this clamp around one of those wires and that would give us our true amperage reading. But if we put it around both the black and the white, it's going to be measuring the amperage coming and going, so it'll zero itself out. So if you're at a pump or some place that you need to do an amp draw on, make sure that you isolate the hot wire or the common and put this around it. Some of these good meters will also have a setting that will allow you to measure the inrush amperage, so you can have this thing connected turn the pump or appliance on or whatever you're trying to measure and it will read the peak amperage and consider that the inrush amperage and also give you the operating amperage as well. 